हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग टूडेज टॉपिक इज डीमोडिलेशन ऑफ पैम सिग्नल पैम इज पल्स एम्पलीट्यूड मॉडिलेशन सो हेयर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डीमोडिलेशन प्रोसेस मीन्स हाउ टू रिकवर द ओरिजिनल मॉडिलेटिंग सिग्नल लेट इज बिगिन टू स्टार्ट विथ फर्स्ट लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज पल्स एम्पलीट्यूड मॉडिलेशन Pulse amplitude modulation. It is a type of modulation where the amplitude of pulsed carrier signal is varied according to the amplitude of analog modulating signal. Let us see by drawing the waveform. Here you can see X T is the modulating signal, carrier signal which is the pulsed one that is represented by C T, and the third one that is the Pam signals you can see over here. Pulse amplitude modulation, and here you can observe that the amplitude of pulses, like here the amplitude is different, here the amplitude is different, here the amplitude is different. So amplitude of pulse that is varying according to the amplitude of the modulating signal. Here you can see amplitude is less in comparison to this point. So accordingly you can plot it. Pulse amplitude modulation it is commonly used in application like Ethernet communication standards, and the designing of pulse amplitude systems, modulation system that is relatively complex in comparison to the other techniques like pulse width modulation and pulse position modulation system. Now. If you have to understand the different types of sampling. we can observe that the pulses in pam signal it may be of any one type it may be a ideal type it may be a natural type it may be a flat top type but among these three flat top sampling that is very popular and commonly used let us see with the help of the diagram you can see the first case which is shows the ideal sampling here you can observe the impulse at each and every sampling point is being shown right second is the case of the natural sampling here you can see there are various pulses pulses of short duration or short width but for each and every pulse amplitude is varying right so natural sampling means a pulse of short width with varying amplitude but in the third case in the flat top sampling you can observe the top of the pulse is flat that is why it is known as a flat top sampling and this flat top is obtained by using a circuit which is known as a sample and hold and as i have told you that flat top pulse amplitude modulation that is a very popular and widely used one now let us understand how demodulation of pam signals is being done so demodulation is the reverse process of the modulation in which modulating signal is recovered back from a modulated signal so pulse amplitude modulated signal here the demodulation is done by using a holding circuit so first let us draw a block diagram of pulse amplitude demodulator pam demodulator here you can see there is a holding circuit there is a low pass filter so in this method the received pam signal allow is allowed to pass through a holding circuit and a low pass filter as you can see in this particular diagram so input is the received pam signal and at the output we will be getting the demodulated signal means the original signal which is the xt so for pulse modulated i have already told you that demodulation is done by using holding circuit and there is a use of the low pass filter also let us understand it in more detail let us draw and understand a very simple holding circuit you can see a holding circuit in this particular diagram here input is a pam input there is a switch s and a capacitor is being used so we are here when this switch s the switch is closed it means now what will happen this capacitor will charge and capacitor will be charged to a pulse amplitude value and it will hold that particular value during the time period between the two pulses right so first the capacitor will charge according to the maximum amplitude and it will hold the value for that particular time interval 
so after this the holding circuit output that is smoothened by the use of the low pass filter so what will happen over here when the it is like smoothen in the low pass filter you can observe that there may be some kind of like distortions which is being introduced because of the holding circuit so in this diagram b output of holding circuit is being shown you can see the input the modulating signal is what xt so when the switch is closed the capacitor will store the maximum value maximum value of the pulse amplitude and then this particular value will be hold for that particular duration means the duration between the two pulses right so here you we can observe that the some kind of distortions may be introduced and that too only because of the holding circuit so in fact though we are talking about the zero order holding circuit by considering that the only samples has to decide the value between the two pulses but it is to be passed through a low pass filter so what we are getting at the output of low pass filter you can see this is the holding circuit output this is the low pass filter output and here at in the output those distortions whatever is being introduced up to which particular quantity is being introduced so all those distortions is being eliminated so in this manner at the output we will be getting our original signal the modulating signal which is the xt over here same you can understand by pl plotting the different pulse if you combine the top if you join them then you will be observing how you are getting the our required signal so here one more important term comes which is about the transmission of the pam signals see when the pam signals are to be transmitted directly there are two conditions when the pam signals are to be transmitted directly it means via a pair of wires it means in this particular case no further processing is required but what will happen when these pam signals are to be transmitted through the space using an antenna definitely when these signals need to be transmitted towards the space there will be a use of antenna so in this particular condition they these must be first amplitude or frequency or phase modulated by a high frequency carrier it means these amplitude modulation frequency modulation or phase modulations are required then only they can be transmitted amplitude modulation frequency modulation phase modulation so th these are the mandatory condition over here it means the overall system will be known as what now the overall system will be known as pam am because originally we are having the pam signal which is to be amplitude modulated or frequency modulated or phase modulated so accordingly the type of system is known as a pam am pam fm or pam pm and at the receiving and same processes to be performed am fm and pm detection must be done to get back the pam signal then from the pam signal we will be recovering the message signal so this is how the overall process takes place now let us talk about the advantages disadvantages and applications of the pam first we are talking about the advantages there are various advantages the first and the very important advantage is pam is the simplest type of modulation when we have to design any circuit means for transmission for reception means there is a requirement of modulation demodulation then the process of modulation and demodulation of pam is very simple here transmitter and receiver circuits are very simple and they are very easy to design with the help of this data can be transmitted very efficiently very quickly and very effectively and this type of modulation can generate other types of pulse modulation signals and also carries the message at the same time right so these are the some of the advantages which i have listed down over here 
now let us talk about some of the disadvantages or limitations also so first disadvantage is bandwidth should be large for transmission we have calculated also bandwidth requirement that is very large this is more noisy impact of noises more over here more power is required for the transmission because pulse amplitude signal varies because the amplitude is varying so we require much power and in this case noise immunity is low so these are the some disadvantages which is very important to understand the pam now let us talk about some of the applications ethernet communication the very important application of pam it is used in photobiology it is used in many microcontrollers for generating control signals and as an electronic driver for led lighting so these are the some of the applications where pam is commonly used thank you so much for watching this video